people. Smithers are, aka Smithers to the motherfucking R, aka Smithers are rated in this motherfucker. Why the fuck not? Fast ass intro, why the fuck not? Fuck it. Anyway, I got so much shit to do, fuck it. I'm finally back from, from like my two week ride. <laughs> from like my two day, fuck it. Like, I'm doing shit, just relaxing, chilling the fuck out. It was, it was good, it was good. Okay, fuck it. Let's, you know what we gotta do. Free. It was Tabby Swim Club episode six, motherfucking review. This episode it had an impact in it. Like we finally got it, and I called it too. We're gonna get more information on how why the dude's afraid of the ocean. I mean, if you watch last week's episode, it a review of it. I had some editing, so say in there. There ain't gonna be no fucking editing in this video. No, fuck that shit. That took so much time, and I got like four videos to make. Fuck it, why not? Okay, let me just let me just go through this. Here. And so they're drowning in the ocean. Those two, fucking, they're fucking um, fucking um, Haru wakes up, and so does that other nigga. And they're looking around, and all of a sudden they look inside the tent. It's like it's still warm. They look on the ocean. They see some figures floating up and down. And so. Haru just immediately runs in there and he's like, go get the fucking, go get, um, fucking sensei. Oh, ho, ho, ho. And the dude, he just jumps in right after him. They're saving, they save the two guys and they're on some deserted motherfucking island. Um, yeah, power that bitch. Power that motherfucker. Look at that light. Look at that fucking light. Okay. And so, what happens is, basically they save him. And then... They get on the beach, and there was about to be a mad suspect moment, but I'm gonna let it slide because of what? CPR. He's your boy, and me personally, if my boy was about to drown, fuck it, why not? I mean, come on. Come on. You think I'm gonna let my boy die like that? No, fuck that shit. Fuck that shit? I don't know, though. It, I would, it would have to be a spur of the moment thing. I don't know. I don't, I don't, I still don't know. I'd probably, uh, <laughs> I don't even fucking know if I'd do that or not. And so basically, it's Ray and the one dude, and fucking Haru and the other dude, and they're in different parts of the fucking beach, on a deserted island, and they meet up, basically, after he comes to, and then it turns into fucking Scooby-Doo, look at, there's a fucking lighthouse, let's go investigate. <laughs> And, and it was basically they're investigating the lighthouse and then it's it gets kind of suspect here and there like oh my god like like one of the suspect parts when he's like you two are acting like an old couple and then he's like you guys stay here I'm gonna go check it out get the fuck out of here acting like he never seen a fucking horror movie before. that shit fuck that shit all you niggas come with me if I'm going to a haunted house fuck that shit that shit. <clears throat> but then this is when, how you could say, the episode got better. You know, there were a couple funny kind of scenes in there, like, this rock, it's like, okay, Ray san you check the fridge, Haru and Simba, you go, you guys go check the undercarriage, and I'll go check, I'll go check the cabinets, and I'm just laughing my ass off. And Ray's like, why the fuck do I gotta check the refrigerator? And he's like, Ray, refrigerator. <laughs> I'm like, get the fuck. It was a badass pun, and it wasn't really funny, but I, ha I had to give him props for that. Fuck it, why not? And then, of course, nothing in the refrigerator. They, they like, rock, paper, scissors, and, of course, it's still fucking Ray. He still fucks up. And so, what happens? Something actually interesting fucking happens. And I'm like, ah, that's some cold-ass shit. Basically, we finally learn the dude's backstory of why he's afraid of the ocean. And it was really good. I liked it and I felt for it and it was an emotional scene. And it was like one of those scenes that was kind of weird. Cause I mean, if I think about it too much, then it gets a little like really weird like, whoa bro, whoa. Old dude giving a nigga some fish seemed kind of, kind of weird. Like, fuck it, fuck it. I'm not going to overthink it and start going into the, maybe this old dude like little boy. No, I'm not going to say that. I'm just going to say this was a kind-hearted old man. But before that shit, they're basically playing a game 
where they've got like this square thing and it has like everybody's name on it and then raises on there three times. I'm like, what the f <laughs> And basically it's like embarrassing story. Oh my god, you left your underwear in the bed. Fuck it. Who okay. get fuck it. Embarrassing sure, why not? And then oh my god, especially even the teacher held it up in like a fucking bag. Oh my god. This dude is tripping. Like literally. Like literally. So that, that nigga's tripping. From there, that's when it got to basically Haru was telling a story about love. And I'm like, oh shit. Finally, this dude was like, ah, I was taking a trip up a mountain. And that's when we met. And then it just so like the silhouette of a waterfall. And there's like a naked girl behind it. And I'm like, okay. But then the dude's like, I love that waterfall. I'm like, what the? Come on, Haru, bro. Come on. Come on, bro. Come on. There's literally a girl right on the other side of that waterfall, and you didn't even fucking notice it? I don't know if my eyes were playing tricks on me, but come on. That looked like a fucking... Come on, bro. Come on. Go in there, bro. Go in there. Shit. I don't know, though, because, I mean, series is kind of mad suspect. But not really that mad suspect this episode. I mean... It was, but it wasn't. I mean, you gotta you gotta dig their friendship. That's all I'm gonna say. You gotta dig how these four boys are starting to bond. And oh my god, no matter where I go with this, my mind just like fuck you, bro. It's getting gay. I'm like, no, bro, no, don't stop. Fucking spare me, bro. No. And then basically, let's let's just get to basically. The most important part, and that is why he's afraid of the ocean. And that's because an old man who was a nice fisherman, who was very kind to him as a kid, died in a fucking typhoon, or a tsunami, that happened, or, yeah, typhoon, yeah, fucking like hurricane on land, on over water, that's what I believe is called, a typhoon. It's only a hurricane when it makes landfall. A tropical fucking storm, who gives a fuck? He got caught one of those outside, like, and his boat went down three kilometers away from the fucking bay. And the thing was that the old man was really nice to him. And it was one of those scenes where it's like, damn, this dude really, really got, like, talking about how he's trying to keep the fish alive and then they died too. And, and ever since then, he's really been, like, scared of the ocean, thinking that there's some type of underhanded thing in there, like a fucking monster, like fucking Titan time. Aqua Titan in this bitch, bitch. Ah, just fucking just, just smashing niggas down. No, that shit ain't real, but fuck it. And then he's talking about, and I like this, how he said that every day we're swimming like three kilometers. Like, it ain't shit. Like, you know, we're swimming three kilometers. That's our training. And the dude was only three kilometers away from the bay. He could have made it, but he didn't. And how everybody, uh, it was it was a good moment. I mean, it was one of those moments where it was it was getting deeper, and you got some character development on how he feels. And then it's like, why did you come swim in the ocean then? Because I really wanted to be with you guys. Still, 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 the way I said it, it seems really, really, really suspect. But at the same time, friend, fuck it, fuck it, I'll, I'll let it slide too. I mean, come on. Come on, bro. I mean, I can't lie. This shit is mad suspect a lot of times. But I like it anyway. And I don't like it because it is suspect. No, 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 no. And how the series is come, come to, has, was supposedly mad suspect from the beginning. And so, no matter what the fuck they say, every time um, it's going to be going through the mad suspect register in my brain, like, mad suspect. Clear. Clear. Do, 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 do. He has a bomb. Get his ass. Yeah. Yeah, like that. Like on some weird shit. Fuck it. But, and then they're swimming back the next morning when it's all out. And then, of course, that, oh, God. Damn it. And somebody even told me these niggas' names, too. Fuck. And I should really, I should really start 
fucking remember these dudes' names. Fuck it. Next review. Fuck it. Next review. Already made the fucking video. Already fucking did it. But yeah, that, that was basically my entire thing with this fucking episode. Oh my god. I mean, it was good, but... Uh, it, it, I'll, gi I'll give it... I'll give it a 7. Because, I mean, I liked it. I did. I enjoyed it. And, I mean, it was weird how time passed when I was watching it. I was, like, watching it, and then the next thing you know, it's five minutes passed. And all these dudes are doing is sitting down talking. I'm like, damn, what the fuck happened? It was good. But it had its okay moments in there. Like, the drowning scene wasn't as impactful as it should have been. Even the dude's death, I really didn't care for it as much as I should have. Like, I mean, come on. Dude's literally about to drown. And he's not breathing. Dude's trying to give him CPR. And it wasn't that impactful of a moment. It didn't have that, that extra umph needed to make it an impactful scene on me. I don't know. Maybe it needed some music. Like, some dum 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 in that motherfucker. Fuck it. Why not? Fuck it. I'm a good... I'm a good Fucking hit the piano, just fucking hit a couple keys, and you got a fucking horror soundtrack right there. Fucking. That's what I would have liked. I would have really, really, really enjoyed that. And, I mean, even ambient sounds, when they were visiting the mansion, when they went Scooby Doo in this bitch. Fuck it, they went Scooby Doo. They went, let's look for food and all this shit. I mean, it's, it needed some extra oomph, and it needed some music, like some horror music or some fucking weird-ass wind sounds and shit. It needed that. I mean, and yes, it may be cliche, but it still needed it. Because, I mean, it was just like, oh, there's, look at that house. It's so spooky. I don't, that doesn't seem spooky to me. It just seems like an old house in Narc. Fuck it. And then, the most... One of the things that really got me off. And oh, and I'm about to check this shit right now live. Expiration. See, this is... Okay. I had to make sure. Because I'm like, what the fuck? Okay. This is the weird-ass shit that I have... I have really... Like, it caught my interest. I'm like, what the fuck? These dudes said... This water is past expiration date. What? Water doesn't have a fucking expiration date, bro. I mean, I had to make sure just in case. And it says right here. The water's appearance, smell, or taste may change somewhat, but the water will still be safe cons to consume. Basically, you had to put an expiration date on water, but, I mean, you can't... Like, that's some dumbass shit, though. Lit niggas can literally sell you water in fucking air. Like, oh my God, that's some dumbass shit. But no, bro. And then they fucking heat it up. Like, it's fucking water, bro. It's fucking... Like, how the fuck, like, that just got me, that just got me right there, I'm like, what the fuck's going on right here, I mean, fucking water, expiration date, what the fuck, I'm, I'm fucking lost, I'm like, why the fuck does this water have an expiration date, why the fuck are these niggas cooking it up, like, hot, I'm like, I'm like I, I know why they cooked it, of course, but it's like, where the fuck's the grill and all that, you know, where's the, where's the fire that they cooked it on, these niggas take some sticks and just rub that shit together, just fucking rubbing their sticks together, again, 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 again. What the fuck, bro? What the fuck? Anyway. But that, that got me. I'm like, what the fuck? Water has an expiration date. That was something I caught there that was actually pretty intriguing, but it's also like, what the fuck? I'm not a dumbass motherfucker that actually thinks that water has an expiration date. I mean, technically speaking, it doesn't. It can be polluted, yes, but technically speaking, it will last forever. It can change its form into, of course, gas and solid, and liquid, and even, in some cases, a plasma, if you fucking know what you do, if you know what you're fucking doing, but at the end of the day, it doesn't change the fact, 
wall who doesn't have expiration date. So what the fuck? What the fuck, bro? It ain't like fucking, it ain't like fucking milk. Water's not like fucking milk. Milk has expiration date. Water the fuck don't. Well, it does, technically speaking, on the bottle one. So, like, what the fuck? So it's like, it should be shaped to drink. Of course, it, it was just a weird thing. I don't know. I just, it was like, what the fuck? Like, really, dudes, like, what the fuck? But fuck it. So, yeah, it gets a 7 out of my fucking 10. Comment what you thought about the motherfucking episode, please. Do. I want to know what you guys thought about this episode. Like the video if you like it. Fuck it. Subscribe for more. Fuck it. Dislike the video if you fucking hate me. You hate what I do. Fuck it. Why not? Do what you do. Or if you disagree with my opinion, go ahead and click the dislike button. Let me know when you disagree. Fuck it. Why not? And with that being said, oh my god. And I feel sick like a motherfucker. I'm about to go. Go get my free on and take a fucking shower. Fuck it. Why not? Fuck it. Oh my god. Three more videos. Fuck it. See you later, my motherfuckers. <laughs>